my name's Daniel Fisher and I'm, I'm from a company called Regimentals in the UK. We're a long established military company. We sell military artifacts ranging from the Napoleonic Wars, Crimean War, all the way through to the Falklands War, but our main focus is World War I and World War II. So the company Regimentals was established in about 1976-77. Uh, um, my father and grandfather first started the company. Um, they uh, started on the market stalls in London, um, then they started travelling to America, buying small things, and eventually they evolved into opening the first ever, or one of the first ever, um, shops in London. The shop was obviously called Regimentals. They were in Essex Road, Islington, near Camden Passage. Um, the shop was very vibrant back in the day, uh, very busy. Many of you might remember uh, my grandfather, Sid, who used to work in the shop, um, a very friendly chap. Um, he uh, passed away in 1993 and um, my father, Malcolm, who is uh, still with us at the company, working very hard every day, um, he is the main figurehead that you would know. You would recognise me from looking fairly miserable behind the table at shows. I'm not actually miserable, it's just that's the way I look, but feel free to come and talk to me. I'm actually quite friendly when you start talking to me. So yeah, back, back in the six, uh, 70s, 80s, 90s, the, the show scene was quite vibrant in the UK. We attended all, all the major shows. Over the years, um, with the use of the internet, uh, our website became very successful and the shop finally closed in 1999-2000, um, which was around the same time we launched the website. We have an office showroom where we like to display all of our items, sometimes for our pleasure, but often because it's easier to find the items when they're ordered. Um, we do have visitors to our premises, but only long-standing customers that we've known for a very long time. Um, but, you know, if you've been buying from us for years, we know who you are, feel free to contact us and uh, a visit to us is, is welcome anytime. Okay, so many of you uh, might be new customers of ours or uh, people that just come across who we are, but many of you will be our older customers um, who will remember Malcolm from um, a long, long time ago. Uh, we've handled, or he has handled, many um, very important artefacts over the years, including uniforms of Adolf Hitler, um, presentation swords given by Hitler to Hermann Göring. We've owned uh, uh, clothing worn by Hermann Göring, many, many other artefacts. Malcolm was one of the first pioneers of the industry to take uh, items to America for shows uh, back in the sort of late 70s, early 80s. He turned up at the shows in America with all of, the, all of these items that were straight fresh out of Germany. No one in America had ever seen anything like that before. And he became very well known around the world. And in the very early days before the internet, he started a, um, a mail order catalog, building up a big range of customers from Japan, um, the Middle East, all, all over the world. And nowadays that's held us in good stead for having a, a large customer base. Usually on a Monday morning we'll come in and there'll be a large amount of orders um, and we pride ourselves on trying to get the items that we've bought onto our website as quickly as we can so quite often we'll be at a show on a Saturday Sunday and by the Thursday that item will be live listed on our website uh, with lots of photographs and a very very um, in-depth description. So you know we pride ourselves on our knowledge really we've been specialising in a wide mix of militaria for a very long time. Um, we, will, we will buy and sell swords, um, insignia, helmets, artefacts of um, um, history to do with paperwork, photograph albums and having such a wide range of items to specialise in gives you a better chance to sell your items to a wider selection of audience. You know, there's always something available that we have that a customer is going to want. Many, many uh, military dealers tend to specialise nowadays in one specific subject and we found over the years that gives you a very, very small uh, net uh, to cast into. So my role at Regimentals um, is often behind the scenes. I do a lot of the uh, website work, uploading the items, a lot of the um, paperwork, the invoicing, correspondence, emails. Uh, my knowledge in military is mainly focused on World War I and World War II. Um, I, I'm, I collect myself, I've written books and published books on the subject which I'll be talking about in future videos. 
I um, have had to take on um, a lot more work to do with the infrastructure uh, of the business since um, Tony left us. Now many of you will remember Tony, he worked with us for many many years, he was the backbone of the business, he was the business manager, he did all of the invoicing, lots of our correspondence and since Tony retired I've taken on that side of the work which has kept me um, off the road slightly. So um, in the future now we want to, we've started this video, um, this channel, so we can start showing you all how we work. We'll probably be doing um, weekly or two weekly updates um, of the videos. We'll show you things that we've recently bought. We'll be focusing on specific items that we think you might find interesting. We'll also be giving you some tips on how to spot original items, what to look for when collecting, try and give you some guidance. Um, and uh, yeah, so we'll be going to America soon. We'll try and do a video from there, do some live live videos, maybe something like that. And um, we're trying to appeal to the younger collectors who, who might be seeing this for the first time. We've noticed recently it shows um, that the collectors are, are getting younger now. You know, we were worried for a time that some of the, some of the collectors were advancing in years but just recently at a show we we sold a medal to an eight-year-old boy who knew a lot about the subject he used his own money to buy it so it's it's really um, becoming an interesting subject for the for the younger collectors so it's all it's all a positive thing for us that's why we've chosen to go down this route of um, you know posting on YouTube um, we're also on Instagram we're on uh, Twitter now and obviously we've been on Facebook for quite a while so hopefully you can follow us on all of those social medias as well as on YouTube. So thanks for watching the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed having a look around our office and we'll be back soon for another video.